Hey, hi there YouTube, and welcome to my lesson. Uh, my lesson is going to teach you how to multiply and divide standard form. So standard form, if you weren't aware, is, um, is written like this. And it essentially just specifies how many zeros are on the end of a uh, on the number here. So here we have 10 times 10 to the power of 3. So in normal numbers, this will mean 10 shifted to the left three times, which means there's three knots on the end, so it's worth 10,000. So this is basically what standard form is. Standard form is that, and I'm going to focus on multiplying first. And you'll also often, I mean, it's 40 actually, you often get questions which will be similar to this. So you can say 40 times 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 times 10 to the power of 8. Nothing, this will be on a non calculator paper because there is a very easy method of solving this. So essentially, what you do is you first, you, you, first of all, you just multiply these two numbers here. So you multiply the 40 and the 2 to get 80 and then you get the powers which is times 10 sorry the, the times 10 bit here and then you add the to the power of so 3 add 8 is 11 now if you're looking for divide you simply do it all in the opposite direction. So you do 40 divided by 2. I right, just multiply. I just, I just sort them out. And now divide. So you do 40 divided by 2, which is 20. You start at times 10. And now you take it away. So 3 take away. Well, 8 take away 3 is minus 5. So it would be 20 times 10 to the negative 5. So if you're wondering what the negative power of, you simply draw in the... Remember, you have to put the, the first 0 in that counts. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 20. So it still says a positive number even though the power of is a negative because when you divide you always when you divide whole numbers or when you divide positive numbers you're always going to get a positive outcome so anyway that's that's the that's the overview of how to multiply standard form and quite often this will come in your non-calculator um, calculator exam because obviously it'll be very easy to do in a calculator exam. So if you have any questions or any feedback, feel free to leave a comment. I would really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe my video if it's helped you. And if it didn't help you, just say why it didn't help you, and I will help you individually. And I will create a revised video so that helps a lot more people because if you can identify flaws in my teaching I would really like to know what these flaws are so anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye